The Collaborative Composite Image course is an interdisciplinary class at the Rochester Institute of Technology that brings together students from our photography and 3D digital graphics programs. As educators, we're challenged and excited to bring new technology into our classroom, and this year we introduced an augmented reality project to our students using mobile devices with a course app powered by Erasma to animate 10 paintings in the permanent collection of the Memorial Art Gallery. To create these animations, we needed to first capture digital files of the paintings to use for reproduction quality prints and as triggers for the painting's auras. As we worked with the museum, the students were given a hands-on experience outside of the classroom, which generated questions such as how do you control color management with mobile devices. For our final critique, we visited the gallery to see the final results and engage with the public at the gallery. The following video is a document of that event. I'm Susan Lakin. I'm a professor of photography in the School of Photographic Arts and Sciences from Rochester Institute of Technology. And we're here at Memorial Art Gallery with my colleague, David Halpstein, who is a professor in the 3D Digital Graphics Department. And Margie Searle, I'm chief curator here at Memorial Art Gallery. And so we're here today um, to show off some of our students' work. It's a collaborative course between photography and 3D digital graphics. And we're utilizing an augmented reality platform to animate 10 of the um, paintings in the permanent collection here at Memorial Art Gallery. So first they um, download uh, the application. And once they do that, they have to follow our channel. And um, once they get connected to the channel, all they do is point their phone at the painting, and then the painting comes alive. From the photography perspective, um, computer-generated imaging is becoming very prominent in our field. And then we have a great 3D digital graphics department um, who are doing that type of work. And so how do we bring those together? So what we did was pair the students up. So each project is involving one photography student, one 3D digital graphics student, who are working together to conceptualize their um, project and then executing it. And we brought in another colleague um, who is working with color management in Knit and Sandpat and his class, which is an art reproduction course. And so it was those students who documented the paintings here in the gallery space. And then we used those digital files as the triggers and also as the material for our students to work from um, to develop their animations as well. <laughs> what we're trying to move beyond is the idea that uh, people come to a museum and they just sort of walk through, you know, sort of gaze at the paintings, which is great. But we are also looking to deepen their engagement. And for us, augmented reality was a very new thing. We didn't really know very much about it, but we were very open to the idea of, of seeing if this would be something that could potentially be um, a way of exciting people's imagination uh, beyond the more passive experience and to really get them to start to uh, consider the art in new ways. When we first started this project, we really didn't know how it was going to turn out. We didn't know it was going to work or not, but you know, we wanted to do the research. We knew that it was you know, kind of a technology that was up and coming, that represented the future. And, and uh, when you put technology like this in the hands of creative people, like our students. You know, frankly, Susan and I were very surprised at how far they took it. We were very pleased. And I think that it's, it's one of those things that's just going to have legs of its own. And already people are talking about new ideas of, you know, what's going to happen next. I think for David and I, we're going to continue teaching this course. We're going to be teaching it again in the fall. And so we're talking about continuing to work with the museum and maybe um, developing more paintings with more students. We'd like to thank Margie for being open to <laughs> this. Absolutely. You know, yeah. we came to her with the idea, and, and as she said, you know, augmented reality is so new, it was hard to even visualize, but they were very open to, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to bringing us in and, and letting us experiment in this way, and yeah. it's just been a wonderful collaboration. Well, it was fun to talk with one of the students today. He said, How do you, where do you see this heading? And I thought, said, well, you know, for example, the priestess, the young priestess, she could be coming off the canvas and she could be guiding people around the rest of the gallery. You know, there are so many ways of thinking about interactivity, and we're just at the beginning here. So look forward to the future, more, more of that in our future.